finally got through it. Yeah, and it does feel, you know, it, listen, I've been I've been in his situation. Not that I was a, a star athlete by any means at Clemson, and nor do I understand the feeling of being a, an athlete that has that stripped away. But I understand somebody that feels wronged in a situation. By the way, if you're watching, share the show. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe and do all that. And tell your friends, neighbors, and your friends, neighbors about the show that shakes the Southland. But I've been there. So when I was at school at Clemson, we had uh, a math course that I was taking at that time. This would have been 1995 that we were taking on a computer. My proctor was you know, the guy that led my, so you had class. My teacher was a guy named Wild Bill Carson. Many of you may, may remember Wild Bill. So Wild Bill was the professor in the class and the proctor uh, in the class was you know we had tests and stuff outside of the coursework and uh, I forget the young lady's name that was the that that monitored that test when we had the test but for whatever reason I don't know if I missed a I I, I don't know if I missed like a a session where they told you and explained the rules or how you're supposed to do the work in the lab you're supposed to do the work in the lab using the computer on or the calculator built into the computer. I was not a great math student, mind you, but that's how you were supposed to do it. I didn't realize that. I missed wherever in the syllabus or wherever somebody told us that. So all year, I didn't have like a TI-82, some graphing calculator or anything fancy. I just had a pretty regular, normal calculator, and I was doing my work on it all year. All year, the whole course I did it. So we get to the finals. And I am taking my finals the same way I have taken every other test in this class the entire year. I am using my little handy-dandy calculator, and I'm doing my work. Well, Wild Bill just happened to be the guy that was proctoring our exam. I don't know why it changed. I don't know why it had to change, but it did. Not the other young lady. And so in the middle of that exam, Bill taps me on the shoulder. He says, hey, I'm going to have to take your test. You're going to have to turn it in now. I'm like, what, what, do you, what do you mean? He's like, well, you can't use that calculator. I'm like, it's December, boss. I've used this calculator on every test in this class all year. What do you mean I can't use this calculator? He says, that's a testing violation. You have to use the calculator on the computer. What? I've used this calculator all year. What do you mean I can't use this calculator? It's not a graphing calculator. It's not a fancy calculator. This is like the owl. You remember the owl? The calculator looked like an owl. This is what I'm dealing with. What do you What do you mean? Can't do it. So they walked me out of the class. All of a sudden, some big wig at the math department. Martin M N O P or whatever the room here she comes with her little paperwork like uh like Willy Wonka etc cetera, etc cetera. Mr. Swan you have been accused like I'm getting read the riot act Mr. Swan you have been accused of academic dishonesty by Clemson University officials blah 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 blah, blah. let me tell you something if i wanted to cheat on this test i would have cheated on this test believe me do you think i've cheated my way to this 78 average right now in your math class do you really believe that i was gonna be lucky to get a c in this class do you do you think i walked into the final exam and thought well you know what if i get 100 i can pull my low c up to a high c how much sense does this make what are, you do what are you talking about? Academic dishonesty. If you disagree with the charges that have henceforth been given against you, Mr. Swine, you are required to return to campus in over Christmas break and dispute said whatever. You will be given an F in this course. I give you an F in this course. I give you an F in how you run this system. I give you an F in the way you 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 taught me about what I need to do to take this test. And the, the fact that I'm being drugged. I'm not driving three hours from Barnwell, South Carolina, the best little city in the state, all the way up to Clemson to argue about this stupid charge you've hit me with of academic dishonesty when I would never cheat. Ever. 
Just put the F on my thing and be done with it. I'll see you next semester. It's the same thing for these kids. He always maintained his innocence. I did not cheat on that test. I would not cheat on that test. Ever. But you know what, my you know what you want to go pull up? You want to go pull up Lawton Swan's whatever you call it, the the whatever that thing was. What, what do you call it? I can't even remember. You know, the list of classes I took at Clemson, you'll see that big F. I didn't earn that F. I was given that F for academic dishonesty. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's what Brayden Galloway's dealing with. That's what he dealt with. And again, uh, I, I can't imagine uh, what he had to deal with being suspended an entire year a season ago. I've been wrongfully accused. Yeah, right. Uh, me too. Me too, Braden. I've, I've been wrongfully accused. I would cheat on that test to make a C plus. <laughs> like I wasn't the I wasn't the smartest guy in the world, but I can assure you, I, I I wish I had my I wish I had my grade right now. Like I wish I knew what my average was walking into that test. It's not like there was some great change on the line of pushing me over the the edge to the 4.0 and the Dean's list. Like, it, was, it wasn't it was even close. Did you eat a lot of paint chips when you were a kid? <laughs> why? Yeah. Yeah, why you, why you ask? My average? Unbelievable. 803-450-0086. Chime in. Have you ever been accused of academic dishonesty? I mean, seriously. I have. I'm 43. I'm not over it yet. I didn't do anything wrong. Nothing. Wild Bill. Nothing. Lady with black hair and glasses that came to read me the riot act. You, Mr. Schwann, have been accused of academic dishonesty of the nth degree. I therefore charge you with an F in your math science class. 1995. If you would like to dispute said charges... Please arrive at Clemson University December the 21st, 1995 to appeal. Yeah, I appeal. I appeal right now. And I'm not driving up to Clemson to fight for something that I'm not that I'm not guilty of. Forget it. I'll take the class later. I mean, that's how That's how you end up going to college for 7 years. That's how that works. You know, a lot of people go to college for seven years. I know. They're called doctors. Dr. Swan out. Like and subscribe. Share the show. Unbelievable. I got accused of academic dishonesty. I mean, me and Braden Galloway. Braden, listen. This is an open invitation to you, sir. When 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 you're done with your time at Clemson, or if I, you know, maybe I could convince my good buddy Ross Taylor to let you come on the show during the offseason. We could talk about what it's like to be accused of something you didn't do. Prime example high school, driving home. I, 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 I took my girlfriend back to her house from my house. I leave my neighborhood. I see a police officer sitting in a local tire place watching for cars off of Reynolds Road to see if they are stopping. Not Reynolds Road. Uh, What is that road called? Barracks Road. Barracks Road. Take her home. Turn around. Come back. Stop at Barracks Road. Look left. Look right. Do it by the book. I know you're sitting over there, officer. Take a right. Take a left into my neighborhood on Richardson Street. Roop, 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 roop. Pulled me over. Ran the red, uh, ran the stop sign. You rolled it. No, I didn't. Not true. Here's your ticket. Anything we could do? No, nothing. Nothing. Pay the fine. Get to college. Roll a stop sign. Get a ticket. Go to the court. I'm the last person in there. I tell the story about what happened in high school. And you know what the judge says? You know what? Sounds like you're doing a break. Charge is dismissed. Justice for the unjustly accused. Just I want that F revoked. 
This is a message to President Jim Clements. Revoke Swanee's F. I would never cheat. Ever.